One of the things I say to conservative audiences across the country is we have to be the party of free speech and open debate. We can't be the party that says, I won't talk to, I'm here talking to you on NBC. There's other candidates in this race that say they won't talk to NBC News. Ron DeSantis is one of them. I go to college campuses where other candidates refuse to go. So I think we've got to practice what we preach. I'm in this race as a millennial, as a young person who's lived the American dream, to actually walk the walk when it comes to free speech and open debate. And yes, I would like to see other Republicans rise to that occasion and do better, starting with the debate stage in our own party this fall. If Donald Trump doesn't do debates, uh, will you not support him if he's the nominee? Well, I'm not going to let him get away with that. Donald Trump... What does I, that mean? <laughs> what do you mean you're not going to let him get away with it? He's, well, look, he can I, do what he wants to do. I don't think the other candidates, including Donald Trump, are going to relish being on that debate stage with me. But I think that the way that he's shown in 2015, what people gave him credit yeah. for was that he was an outsider and a disruptor. I'm the outsider in this race. And I think that if you want to be part of, like yeah. Joe Biden, in an existing establishment that doesn't want to debate, I think what, people are what, hungry for new What blood. should the party use as leverage to force him to, to show up on the debate stage? I think it's the voters. I think it's my job and it's the job of candidates to tell voters that if you want someone sitting across the table from mm -hmm. Xi Jinping, if you want someone with the spine to take on the administrative state, mm -hmm. it's the top of my domestic agenda, you better darn well not be scared to show up on a debate stage with the new challenger. Donald Trump did a great job of that in 2015. Yeah. I'm the outsider in this race. You have